investigate. Bob and Becky Klosterman are a handsome, engaging couple. He was quiet, um, you know, he had good credentials and he had a great car. He is a gifted fighter pilot and she is his perfect doting wife. They look like a power couple. She looked happy to be on his arm and he looked mighty happy for her to be there. But when scandal rocks his naval career, their marriage begins to sink. Becky also notices Bob is drinking a lot and it worries her. She didn't understand why he had this urge, this need to drink heavily. She suspects Bob's drinking and bad moods are linked to his wartime experiences. He flew 440 combat missions in Vietnam. Their relationship is in tatters when Becky gets some unexpected news. Bob was out to sea, and she realized within the first few weeks she was pregnant. But for Becky, it's not good news. The doctors had told her before not to go forward with any pregnancy, that they couldn't guarantee that either one, she or the child, would come out OK. A few days later, she terminates the pregnancy. She keeps this a secret from Bob, too. The issue that, that for him was is that he never knew she was pregnant, comes back, and then she tells him this. Bob's reaction is to head to a local bar. Rather than becoming a medical issue that, as a couple, they dealt with and moved on, it became an emotional sticking point for Bob. The Klostermans soldier on, keeping up appearances. Bob is appointed commanding officer of the Navy's most powerful warship. It's a great achievement. The Navy uh, praised him, actually, for saving $70 million in construction costs just by his efficiency and planning. Bob's promotion means a lot to Becky, too. I think Becky loved every moment of that. That to her meant that the partnership over these years amounted to something. A commanding officer's wife in the United States military has a role to play that could be likened to the role of a first lady. I would hang out at their home and chat with Becky. And lots of times, Bob wasn't home. And he wouldn't tell her where he was going. He would just, I've got to go. Bob is never home, and Becky finds herself alone again after all those years of being a Navy wife. Becky begins to suspect Bob of having an affair. Then, the final straw. She finds a letter from the bank, and it's a shock. Their home has been stripped of all its equity. It should have been probably almost paid for, or maybe completely paid for knowing you know, the income that he, that he made in his career. Um, it wasn't, you know, all of this money was missing. Becky finally confronts Bob. She said they got into a pretty darn good argument, a loud one, and she wasn't gonna back down. I always do it for you. And he pulled a gun out of the desk drawer. Becky remembers Bob pointing the gun at her, then at himself, and saying, you'll never see any money while Bob claims he never pointed the gun at Becky. Bob said he waved the gun at himself and asked Becky if she would like for him to kill himself. Then Bob said Becky spat back at him. You don't have the guts. Investigate. I take you to be my lawfully wedded wife. To have and to hold, for better, or for worse. To honor and cherish faithfully. For as long as we both shall live. Fatal Vows, all new, Saturdays at 10, only on Investigation Discovery.